Hello woodcasters, um, it's 5.30 in the afternoon and uh, I'm ready to start my second uh, try and test of the Greatless uh, gasifier. Um, I first uh, have to fill up uh, a layer of uh, start uh, charcoal, both in the uh, drizzle pipe and uh, in the uh, exit to build up a uh, minimal reduction zone. So I do that now. Voila, charcoal is in now. Uh, get the uh, pyrotouch working. Get the under pressure sensor. Temperature is now uh, five and a half degrees Celsius above zero. It's not freezing, it's a nice day. And uh, we start the uh, controller. Okay, spark is uh, going. Bye, now I light this thing up. Yes, let's do it. Yes, we are lit, almost there. Okay, we have uh, almost a sustainable flare. We are yes, now we uh, five uh, minutes on our way. Sustainable flare after uh, one minute, 14 seconds. Unfiltered flare of cold gasifier. Gasifier has uh, at this moment a temperature of uh, 23 degrees Celsius and uh, 529 inside the uh, fire. We can see the fire tube getting red hot inside the gasifier. And uh, still the uh, unfiltered flare. Flare at uh, 20 past 9. That's a blue, but uh, also some yellow. I don't know, I cannot compare uh, to other flares. I'm used to a much, uh, uh, the drizzler flares are mostly uh, better than this one, but uh, I cannot compare. There's lots, of, there's lots of blue, it's unfiltered. I don't know where this, uh, it's, it's not yellow yellow, it's, it's very transparent. measure uh, temperature inside with this probe and let's see what happens. Uh, kind of difficult to find the exact spot. I'm always uh, trying to find the spot. But uh, 1150 seems to be the uh, highest temperature. 
This is the flare after uh, almost six hours run. There's a very heavy wind. Um, it's a powerful flare. The wind can blow, plays with it, but uh, can blow her out. At the end of the evening, I uh, started my filter and uh, cleaned up uh, to see how the, the flare looks uh, after filtered. Almost six hours run. I just uh, launched the filter to see uh, how the flare looked like. The system uh, is now filtered. Yes. Let's say in uh, in uh, 10, 15 minutes, it will be six hours. Everything went smooth. Uh, what can I say? This is only the first uh, the first six hours. We uh, I will try to start it up regularly and see how it performs. Uh, heavy wind. Wind is playing with the flare. Well, folks, uh, I'm always running out of wood and uh, that will be the end of today. Well, uh, gases, it seems uh, we're running out of wood. It's uh, exactly uh, 11 past meridium and uh, we have fired six and a half hours solid. Uh, the last half hour I put on the filter, which you see here, and uh, the filtered uh, flare we got. This uh, six and a half hours went uh, absolutely flawlessly, not a single incident. The only thing that uh, worries a bit uh, is uh, the uh, drop in temperature of uh, the exit of the uh, reduction zone. It started from 720 and uh, it dropped it dropped till uh, 520. So that's uh, 200 degrees. It's a pity that I uh, do not have any more wood. Okay, we're finished now. No more wood. I shut off the blower. First, I shut off the uh, the gasifier. No more transport, and I shut off the blower. Okay. Finish. The gasifier now goes in updraft. All silence. That's the end. Okay, folks. Six and a half hours burn. I have to analyze everything, especially uh, why the temperature of the reduction dropped. But uh, overall, this uh, second attempt went uh, very well. I let the gasifier sit as it is, and uh, tomorrow. I will um, light it up without doing anything, see what happens. Thank you for watching, bye, till later.